So far, we've added polynomials and subtracted. Now it's time to multiply. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to multiply two polynomials. All right, first of all, we're going to start with a little review just to get used to multiplying again. If I have 2x times the quantity x squared minus 3x plus 4, if you remember from using the distributive property, we're just going to take the 2x and we're going to distribute it to the three parts. So we will get 2x to the third because you remember we're going to add our exponents and then minus 2x times 3x is 6x squared and then plus 2x times 4 is 8x. So that's just multiplying. We actually just multiplied two polynomials. We multiplied a monomial by a trinomial and that's what we got. So now what we're going to do is moving into multiplying two binomials. Before we discuss it, I just want to show you one thing that either works or doesn't work. We just want to discuss, are these two expressions, x plus 4 times x plus 5 and x squared plus 20, the same thing? Notice the difference between those. I'm guessing that a lot of people would just want to take the x times the x and get x squared, and then the 4 times the 5 and get 20. And basically, is it okay to do that? So that's what we're going to look at. If we want to find out if those two expressions are equal or not, we can pick a value for x and then see it if we get the same answer in either one. So let's let our x be 3. If I plug 3 in for each of these x's, 3 plus 4 is 7, and then 3 plus 5 is 8, 7 times 8 is 56. So for this one we get 56. So let's try it over here. If I plug 3 in here, 3 squared is 9, plus 20 is 29. Notice we do not get the same answers, which means we are not able to do that. So you cannot multiply polynomials by just multiplying like terms. That is not okay to do that because they are not equivalent expressions. Right? Instead, you must use the distributive property. So you must use the distributive property instead. All right, so we are going to work with some problems. I'm going to show two different ways of working these problems. And once I've done a couple of them, you'll probably find your favorite way. And then that's how you should work all the problems. So if I have x plus 4 times x plus 5, I'm going to do the distributive way first. And then I'm going to do a rectangular method when we're done. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is take this x and we're going to distribute it to both parts. So we're just going to pretend like the 4 is not there. So x times x would be x squared, and then x times 5 is a positive 5x. All right, now we're going to distribute the 4. So I'm going to distribute the 4 to both parts. So 4 times x would be positive 4x, and 4 times 5 would be positive 20. And then from here, we're just going to combine like terms. I've got x squared plus 5x plus 4x is 9x plus 20. And that would be my answer. All right. Many people have learned that method, and you're just fine with it. I have found through the years that um, some people are much more comfortable with the rectangular method instead. So the way that we're going to set this up is we're going to put x and 4 on one side, and then x and 5 on the other side and then we're going to create a rectangle. This is similar to the Punnett squares method in biology, if you like that. This would be a great method for you to use. Now to get this box, we're going to do x times x, which would be x squared. This box will be x times 5, which is 5x. This box will be 4 times x, which is 4x. And this last box would be 4 times 5, which is 20. Now from here again, we'll just combine like terms. I'll have x squared, 5x and 4x together would give me 9x, and then plus 20. Notice I get the same answer either way, and actually all my parts are the same. This just gives me the rectangular method, gives me kind of a more organized way of working the problem. All right, let's say I have x plus 8 times x plus 6. All right, what we are going to do on this one again, I'll do both ways. I'll circle my x and distribute it, so I'll get x times x is x squared, and then plus 6x, and then from here we'll circle the 8 and do that same thing, so I'll get 8 times x is positive 8x, and 8 times 6 is positive 48. And then from here, we can add those together. We'll get 6x plus 8x is going to be 14x plus 48. All right, and then my box method will have an x and an 8 and an x and a 6. Create my rectangle. All right, x times x is x squared. x times 6 is 6x. 8 times x is 8x, and 8 times 6 is 48. I'll put my like terms together. I'll have x squared, 6x plus 8x is 14x, plus 48. Notice I got the same answer either way I did it. All right, how about you give this one a whirl? So pause the video and see if you can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start both ways again. I'll circle my x, take 
get times both parts. So x times x is x squared. And then plus x times 10 is 10x. And then I'll take my 2 and circle it. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 10 is positive 20. And then from here, just combine like terms, I'll get x squared plus 12x plus 20. And then if you worked it the box way, we'll have an x and a 2, an x and a 10. And then here, x times x would be x squared, x times 10, 10x, 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 10, 20. Okay, so I'm going to have x squared, 10x and 2x will be 12x plus 20. And again, either way, we'll get the right answer. Okay, I wanted to do one more like these, which had some more numbers in the problem, just in a subtraction sign to see how we did on this. So let's put a 7 there. Okay, concept is exactly the same. We just have more going on. So I'm going to take the 3x and multiply it by both parts. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 7 is a positive 21x. And then let's take that negative 4 and distribute it. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x, and negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. All right, and then from here, combining like terms, I'll get 6x squared plus 13x minus 28. All right, if you were to choose to do the rectangular method on this one, we've got 3x. I do have to put a negative 4 there, and then a 2x and a 7. Okay, and then here, 3x times 2x will be 6x squared. 3x times 7, 21x. Negative 4 times 2x, negative 8x. Negative 4 times 7, negative 28. And then again, we've got like terms to combine. I've got 6x squared plus 13x minus 28. And notice again, I got the same answer. So now hopefully you are somewhat familiar with multiplying polynomials.